What's going on everybody? Patrick Ali here with Caesar North America and this week's theme is furry friends. Now, you're probably asking yourself by the spread that I have on this table, what is a piece of wood, baby wipes, a blowtorch, uh, hooks, paint, a mason jar, dog leashes, and P Caesar PSV have in common? Stick around with this week's segment of Crafting with Patrick to find out more. Alrighty guys, so today is a really cool project. What I'm actually going to be making is I'm going to be making a dog leash holder and treat holder sign that we can throw up in our house because I always want to remember to walk my dogs out and I definitely got to remember to give them some treats because they've been so good while they're outside. So. What we're gonna actually end up using is we're gonna take our piece of wood and I'm gonna show you a different paint method uh, actually using baby wipes. And then another cool feature that we're gonna go ahead and add is a torch. Now, what a torch is gonna allow us to do is give the wood more of a rustic burnt look and it's actually really gonna bring out the grain in our wood. So, we're gonna head outside with this due to safety reasons uh, and we'll show you exactly how to do the, the torch method and then we'll come back in to show you how to do the baby wipe paint method. So stick tight. Alrighty guys, now that we're back inside, uh, we were able to put in a couple of scorch marks into our sign, uh, but we're gonna go on to the next step and actually using the baby wipe method with some paint to make this sign uh, a little more beautified, if you will, that's my word for today. I just have some regular old baby wipes, okay? I have two different colors of paint because I have a girl dog and a boy dog, okay? We're gonna try to morph these together on this piece of wood, uh, but also adding the same effect of the baby wipe method. So, I'm gonna turn this around. All I'm simply gonna do is grab one of the baby wipes out, take some of our paint, splash it on there any way that I want. And I'm only gonna go about halfway to the wood. I might, you know, go over uh, a little bit onto this side, but again, remember, we're gonna try to blend them together in the middle. So just taking the baby wipe, and I'm just gonna start wiping away. And if you notice, I'm not getting every inch of coverage. What it's allowing me to do is almost have a stained appearance, uh, but using, you know, different colors other than just our typical espresso and cherry wood and all that stuff. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to our red and doing the same exact thing, guys. So throw some in there. I'm going to use a new baby wipe. Alrighty, now that we're done putting our mason jar onto our wood sign, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our Caesar PSV uh, and add a couple cool little decals here. And I'm going to show you a little trick with uh, using Caesar PSV and masking. So take a look at this. All right, so for my sign, I thought I would add a couple little cool uh, dog decals. Now I have two dachshunds or wiener dogs or hot dogs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I'm going to add one for each side. Now this one's already complete, but I want to show you a little trick when trying to line up all of the edges of PSV, especially when you have a small contour, uh, maybe a two color PSV design. Okay, so with that said, I have the back side or the contour of my design. I also have, using some Caesar PSV, uh, which is going to be the color of my design of that second color. And all I'm doing right now, is I'm just gonna go ahead and take off any excess or weed any excess material. Alrighty, now that we're done weeding out all the excess material, uh, we're basically gonna use this as the background uh, of our design. This is the foreground of our design. So I wanna show you a quick trick. Using Caesar PSV application tape, uh, I'm gonna actually take this application tape and I'm going to apply it like I would with any other uh, Caesar PSV on the foreground, so the color first, okay? Alrighty, once I pick that up off of the carrier, I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper. I wanna put this uh, sticky side up for a minute. I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper, just enough to cover uh, my design itself. And I'm gonna actually just go ahead and cover up the PSV on the backside. Now the cool thing about parchment paper, the coating on it, the PSV actually doesn't stick to it. So what I'm gonna be able to do now is line up my uh, two colors together and make sure that it's centered just right so that when I'm ready, I can simply take the excess uh, PSV application tape, stick it to the table, 
remove the parchment paper and just simply roll that design right back on and now I have a nice contoured two color design. Alrighty, perfect. So I have both of my designs done. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I can apply them to my uh, wood sign and we're going to add just a little touch at the end here. So I'll just grab this off just like any old sticker. Put one there. And then we're going to throw one right there. All right, and there you have it. Now I have one little thing that I'm going to actually add in uh, because I got to be able to hang my leashes, right? So I'm going to add in a hook uh, so it actually looks like a little tail coming off of the, uh, the design that we made here today. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on uh, and then we'll see you back here in a second. All right, there you have it, guys. Uh, this week we learned how to use the baby wipe method, use some Caesar PSV, two colors. Actually learned how to use the application tape uh, and a little piece of parchment paper to make sure that those line up properly. We got a hook in there for our little tail uh, that's gonna hang our hook. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, guys, to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, hit the bell for notifications, and then again, coming this week, you get to choose one more time uh, what, what happens. So uh, the fate of the, our team here is in your hands. Don't forget to vote. Uh, if you have any questions, always reach out to info at CaesarNA. I love you, stay creative, uh, and have a great rest of the day. It's not bad.